Alright. Hi! Oh. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello. Hi, everybody. We are back with the winner. Uh, not winner's finals. My bad. This is a, I think, loser's semis. Loser's quarters. Loser's quarters. Quarters. Yeah, loser's quarters because Giddy fell to Epic Gabriel in winner's semis. Wait. Yeah, loser's quarters. Okay, this is loser's quarters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Loser's quarters. Loser's quarters. Okay, okay. So, okay. yes. Yes. Kirby Kid taking over Blue Striker in loser's sevens, and then Giddy falling to Epic Gabriel in winner's semis. So we are in losers' quarters right now. Gotcha, so. gotcha, gotcha. Okay, uh, just making sure. Yeah, I'm not sure if we've actually seen this matchup before, but yeah, Giddy, uh, kind of being like the Texas player to look out for. You know, that's you know two top eights in a row at like pretty stacked events. You know, like you know, a couple weeks ago, top eight at No Man's Land, top eight right here. Yep. Getting some good wins for sure. You know, it, it's gonna be it's gonna be nice to see what Giddy can do right now. But Kirby Kid also in his own right. Yeah, Kirby Kid always showing like that. Any matchup for K with K Rule looking even, <laughs> making, he, 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 he looks, always does that. <laughs> he's like literally making K Rule look so good. Yeah, right? exactly. You know, and that's not even just like an ironic statement. It's like he will be in that video. Kirby Kid making K Rule look godlike. Like no, absolutely, he does <laughs> absolutely. And that just goes to show like how how amazing of a player Kirby Kid actually is. That is nice. So we're gonna be going to game one already getting started. You know they. Both players just like, it's like, yeah, we want to play now. So, gonna start on PS2 though. PS2, always a solid pick. Now, I do say that he makes every matchup look even. However, Krom, very, very scary for Kaylor. Yeah, like, having that sword with like, unlike Roy, the entire sword is gonna do all the damage. And oh my God, that forward smash doing so much. Not take, not even taking that many that much damage at this point right now on Giddy. Yeah, oh, but the propeller, oh. yeah. Giddy right there trying to use the down air to try to spike K rule and punish the re grab, but it didn't work out anyways. But yeah, like you said, this is definitely really scary for K rule. Uh, you know, Krom, I mean, does a really good job of kind of like falling up airs and having this mobility and this consistent pressure. Like you said, you know, the sword does full damage pretty much the entire way through. So mm -hmm. it's, it's going to be really hard for K rule and for Kirby Kid to kind of, you know, get some footing. But so far, slowly but surely bringing it back. Yep, and that's, that's the K rule effect right there. Always able to deal so much damage with just a few hits. However, that forward tilt, not going to do it just yet. Using that up air to stall a little bit off stage. Going to air dodge two ledge. Oh, wow. Giddy, yeah. Follow, followed him on the roll right there. Yeah, <laughs> but doesn't get anything. But finally got the side B, and Giddy taking first blood in this, stock, uh, in this first uh, match of the quarter. Yep. The crown is back. I thought that was going to spike for a second, <laughs> but I forgot that it was like very good counter coming out from Kirby Kid. Very exploitable recovery, and I did not know how that hit just now. <laughs> yeah, no, for sure. And that's the thing, right? Like, counters are going to, counters kind of mess up, you know, um, oh, pretty yeah. hard on stage. Yeah. So, definitely dangerous. The back throw. Going to go for the clap, missing it. Nair's coming out. Good forward, good dash back, I mean. Oh, wow. Just let it on stage and just immediately grab it. Yeah, yeah, this is this is the yeah. Okay, I already knew. He's like, I don't want to deal with this. That's facts right there. It's just so dangerous. Once Giddy gets off stage, it's gonna be so dangerous for him to get back. So this is gonna be probably Kirby gets gold to like get Giddy off stage. Yeah, the entire set. Yeah, the name of the game is off stage. Yeah, uh, exactly. Punishing off stage, punishing, not letting uh Prom return to center stage. That's gonna be the biggest. Thing. Wow, and here we go. Oh, okay, getting optical really low for that one. Yeah, the one time, you know, that, you know, he overcommits. No way, no way, no way, no way. Oh my god, Kirby Kid. That was so mean. That actually got him. <laughs> that, like, actually, that, like, actually got him. Dude. He could have just sat at ledge and just countered again. But he's like, no, nah, I'm going to go out with a bang here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's all about sending a message. Yeah, like, right there, the, you know, he could have just sat on ledge and countered, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then finally worked it out, got the back throw, and then, yeah. I can't believe that worked, dude. <laughs> I, I I actually cannot believe that worked. Yeah, I'm actually curious to to see maybe you know what if Giddy could have air dodged right there. Like mm -hmm. seeing uh, Kirby Kid drop really low, you know, had the opportunity to possibly just air dodge to the side. We're gonna switch to Roy here though, yeah, right the now. Roy switch might be a little bit better for him. Uh, because remember, Kirby Kid did go down to losers from Goblin, who played Roy. Yeah, absolutely. Also, uh, that off stage factor, I, I guess he doesn't want to deal with it with uh, with Prom. Yeah. Yeah, so, gonna, gonna be going to Battlefield for this game number two, though. Uh, Giddy gonna have to make some changes, and so far already made a character change. So that's already, you know, a pretty big change. In yeah, and one. this damage coming out from Giddy. That, that belly armor looking kind of cracked right now. Yeah. 
don't want it to break on you. Right, can I punish the spot dodge with the jabs? Yeah. Let's drop right there. Patching. Oh, that would have been crazy spike for sure. So. Yep. Okay, that was such a good way. Going for the jab, but not jumping. Waiting for an option. Going for that forward smash. Gonna get. Gonna trade with the grab. The dancing blade. Gonna deal some good damage. Now, we saw this happen in the first game where Kirby Kid took so much damage, but it, we definitely brought it back. And we're starting to see it a little bit here. Yeah, such. such oh my god! <laughs> Chill, yeah. chill, chill, chill. We talked about it in the Kirby Kids last set, you know, being able to drop down those platforms on battlefields, you know, with the vacuum is going to be crazy for sure. So, Offstage battle once again. Oh, using the wind box yeah. to pull him so far away. There's the down air. Good down air coming out from Kirby Kid to get in that first stock. Oh, yeah. giddy. Absolutely. And crawling up her into the back here, though. Not going to do it just yet. Across the stage on battlefield and on K roll. Going to take a lot more for sure to take out this cross, right? Yep. In the back throw, gonna go for the down air, not gonna work. Nair ledge, always a good option with K roll. Gonna miss that back air, that would have definitely spiked. Wow, I tried to, he tried to do a tomahawk and then use the second jump again to kind of create this, like, you know, like uncertainty in terms of pressure, but yeah. doesn't get anything off of it, though. Giddy making those, like, little changes on the fly is gonna be nice to see for sure. And it's gonna be nice to see how Kirby can react to these for sure. That's facts right there. Gonna hit that shield with the forward air. The up B will not, not just do it. it. 217 Jesus. once again. K roll moment, ladies and gentlemen. K roll just looks forever. The up throw. <laughs> not <laughs> what? <laughs> not gonna do it. I think he wanted to stall out, you know, the crown coming back, which is why he kind of waited a little bit. Um, but yeah, the up throw, regardless, so not gonna do it. And right now, you know, let's just say Roy's a kill percent. <laughs> yeah, Roy, Roy, Roy is a definitely kill percent. <laughs> oh my god. Wow, Dude. Did, yeah, did the tomahawk right to cover, see what he could get off the ledge, but doesn't get anything there, but finally gets the up throw. And at 99%, gonna have to get a pretty big combo right now to kind of even it up right now. But so far, it looks like he's he's going for it. That is Max right there, gonna try to get it on ledge. There we go, good. Nair on that shield, provide that pressure. Gonna miss that sup though. Yeah, really good awareness right there from Giddy, kind of realized. Oh. Is that gonna be it? No, no. not it. Oh, the uh, belly play, that's it. Yeah, our, earlier we saw the good presence of mine right there from Giddy, realizing that Kirby Kid was in a weird position in terms of ledge trapping, so was able to rising Nair off the ledge a little bit quicker. That's gonna be the that's gonna be the name of the game for Giddy right there in terms of ledge trapping, is he needs to be able to find Kirby Kid in awkward positions so he can get back to stage correctly. That's facts right there, and that crown having weird properties at that little interaction. <laughs> crown is always weird. It's yeah. always such a weird it's always a weird, weird projectile. Once again. Whoa! Okay. Oh, no. that, will that be it? I right, that will be it. Yeah. Kirby Kid 2. Oh, Kirby Dad is happy. He's ready. I oh, just I just saw I saw Kirby Dad top and I was like, all right, he's ready. Yo, shout out to Kirby Dad. Shout yeah, out shout out to, to Kirby Dad. Yeah, the Kirby Dad power up is uh uh hundred hundred and zero matchup. Yes, yes. Zero yes. no losing matchups. That is facts right there. Giddy though, gonna have to make some pretty big changes, right? We saw the we saw the Chrome, we saw the Roy. Will we see this for off? Uh I think we might. However, Kirby Kid does have a lot of Sephiroth experience with uh from Louisiana, as we have like almost two or three Sephiroths and, in the state. So and Kirby Kid also plays a little bit of Sephiroth, right? Yeah, Kirby Kid does play against Sep play Sephiroth, but he's still learning the character a little bit. So I don't think he'll will get the switch. But here we go. We actually got the Sephiroth out. Um, I don't know how this is gonna work out for Giddy, but it could work out well. Yeah, absolutely. Honestly, anything's possible. Yeah, absolutely. And you know. This is the, the beauty of having multiple characters. It's just being able to, you know, when you see, when you feel like your back is against the wall, you have all these options available to you, and he's going to decide to use all of his options, you know, going from Chrome to Roy to Sephiroth. And, yeah, like you said, Kirby can having a lot of experience. Giddy going to have to figure out, though, like, hey, what can I do different, right? I loved that cancel into the forward smash from the flare. That was actually really good. Okay, going to try to counter that up B. Not going to work, though. Good in air coming out from Kirby Kid. Chill on stage, keep that stage control. There's gonna be a regrab right here, but no, no punish. Might have another regrab. Giddy will get on stage without being contested. Good batch tag. And there we go. I will always say this on commentary. This Sephiroth in this game is inflatable. Yeah, Sep <laughs> Sephiroth is just so light. This is man. a fake Sephiroth. He is inflatable, Sephiroth. Yeah, absolutely. Because he dies way too early. <laughs> yeah, I feel like, yeah, it's uh you know, you knock on his head, is completely hollow. Like, it's yeah, very, exactly. it's just a shell. It's just a shell, Inflatable right? Sephiroth. It, it ain't that heavy. He ain't that heavy in this game. 
Oh, no. okay. Good read on that roll. The back throw will do some good damage. The re-grab. Okay, oh. gonna opt to counter just in case if he charged that up B instead. Yeah, because that's a counter play, right? Like, you're gonna want to use an aggressive option. That way you get your opponent. Counter. Oh! Oh! Did it too early, though! I actually thought that was gonna work. <laughs> yeah, the timing of it not correct, unfortunately, right there. But, you know, Giddy gonna take uh, the first stock finally. Has a fighting chance. The one wing is out on Giddy, so he still might have a chance here. All these nares coming out. Oh my god, damage! <laughs> wow, waited for the reset right there. The Tekken place on the platform right to punish, but doesn't get anything else. But is in a lead trapping situation. Let's see what... No, not gonna get anything. Kirby kick kind of returning to center stage. Does have an orb on him, though. Yeah, that's the thing, though. When, like, you, when you retreat, you know, from Sephiroth with orb, there's not much you can do, right? Because you can just shield it, but if he's too far away from you, you can't really consistently punish yeah. you. The only thing you can most likely do is try to break your shield. But good up air coming out! From Giddy, it's gonna be actually on his on his favor now. Yeah, exactly. So Giddy, Giddy having the lead right now. It's gonna be big, right? He kind of needed this, especially because you know he's down 2-0, right? Yep, so. yep, yep. So the Sephiroth kind of working out at this point. Gonna go off. Okay, that I did not know uh, Armor was gonna do that. And oh my God, he's gonna be dead. We have a last stock situation on this game number three. Yeah, this is Giddy's tournament life if you can't close out this game. So we're going to have to see what the Sephiroth can do right now. So far, it's been working out really well for him. So, you know, having a lead right now, let's see what he can do. Yeah, uh, Giddy's been consistently getting these Shadow Flares on Kirby Kid and just using that damage to his advantage at this point. There's the back throw into the forward air. Not going to do it just yet. Here comes the, the Giga Flare. Going to cancel it, though. Cannonball, gonna get the grab, up throw. Yeah, tried to try to back air through the like right above the cannonball, but a little bit unsafe right there. Doesn't get anything though. Nice little is that oh. F tilt, I believe. Yeah, F tilt was a little bit of a weak hitbox there. Gonna opt to stay really low down for that Giga Flare. Good yeah. air coming out from Giddy. Yeah, nice parry right there after the parry. Doesn't get anything off of it though. Trying to get those shadow plays on more damage. The back air into the up air! No way. Oh my god, we see that time and time again. And Kirby Kid takes it over Giddy. 3 0. Literally got one hit and won the game with it. Wow. That was crazy.